Hope you enjoyed that little parody I made for you there. But yes, the Pixel 2 is still happening, and for some bizarre reason, the Google Pixel sold fairly well last year. No, it didn't outdo any Samsung phone, it didn't outdo any iPhone, but enough people bought it so that the Google Pixel team can still make a sequel to it. And there's already been a ton of leaks and not that much excitement for it because the leaks themselves don't really look that exciting. I've mentioned this before, but I just think it's worth repeating. I'm super glad I'm not a made by Google fanboy right now because given the leaks you guys have for your Google hardware team, there's really not that much to be excited for. You know, for Apple, it's been crazy. It's like we're getting a new iPad this year, we get a red iPhone, and then we get the new Mac OS iOS 11 refresh, the watch OS 4, the new TV OS along with two new iPad Pros. After that, the moment we've all been waiting for, the excitement of the iPhone 10, alongside the 8 and 8 Plus, the Series 3 Apple Watch getting LTE support at the end of the year. We have an all-in-one mega powerful desktop, the iMac Pro coming out. And what does the Google team have to look forward to? These very large bezels and, you know, still kind of glass back looking devices. The Pixel 2, based on the leaks we have for it, and usually when leaks are coming out this soon, the release date, they're fairly accurate. Yeah, the Google Pixel leaked last year too, but you know, I remember specifically thinking at the Google keynote on October 4th, they really did not make an effort to hype up the release at all. In fact, that stock image that you see for introducing the Google Pixel everywhere, that's just text and the phones, that leaked a couple weeks ahead of launch last year. And you know, when Apple unveils a new product, they do it in a video, they show its sleek curved edges, showing off that beautiful new design element they went with, and it's like really cool music and cut images of it. With the Pixel reveal, they literally hit next on the PowerPoint and showed that image that we had all been looking at for two weeks. So they really don't go with the wow factor. And I think this keynote is going to be fairly similar. So blatantly, when we're looking at the new leaks for the Google Pixel 2, we're already seeing not much has changed from last year. And the thing I'm noticing as an Apple sheep is this phone is missing some very large flagship features we are seeing in most phones these days. For one, the most blatant and obvious one is the dual camera. That's in budget smartphones now. That's in most Android phones. It was already kind of bizarre that Samsung hadn't stepped into that field yet, but they did with the Galaxy Note 8 and it was amazing. The Note 8 has two amazing cameras that are both optically stabilized. They look great. You could do live focus, kind of like a parody on Apple's portrait mode, but the photos off of the Note 8 look amazing. It's great to see what dual camera support can bring to a smartphone and Pixel's gonna say, nah, <laughs> no, our sensors are good enough. You don't need two cameras on the back. Even if people want to have either ultra wide or they want that monochrome lens or they want that telephoto lens, I think both Apple and Samsung fans out there have shown demand in wanting to have that telephoto lens. Here comes the Google Pixel 2, the last flagship smartphone to come out at the end of this year. Even since the beginning of the year with the LG G6, we've had smartphones come out with dual cameras on the back. Pixel's good, they made the lens bigger, so it's probably gonna be the highest rated camera on this website that we've never looked at before that rates smartphone cameras. It also doesn't really like to review the iPhone 7 Plus very often. I'll see if they bring up that website again. And keep in mind, last year's camera wasn't even optically image stabilized, which is something I thought has been a standard since the iPhone 6 Plus. Nope, our in-software digital stabilization will satisfy you enough. And the next big thing that is confusing me is that, okay, so first of all, Apple users are just now getting wireless charging with the iPhone 8 and 10, right? We're always like, yeah, this is great, finally. Samsung users have had this for years. Finally, it's coming to iOS users. We now have wireless charging. And what's the number one Android response? We've had this for years. We've always had wireless charging. I mean, no, personally, no, I have not bought one myself, but we've had that option. Wireless charging is not a new thing. Apple didn't invent it. Uh-huh. Well, at least we have it now. Based on the look of the Google Pixel 2, we have a small thin sheet of glass on the top, which if you're wondering how most Qi chargers work, they're not the size of the entire phone. In fact, you're supposed to kind of rest your phone on the middle of the charging plate. And if that big section on the back of the Pixel 2 is aluminum, sadly, that probably means it does not have wireless charging. Unless the Pixel team has now revolutionized some way to wirelessly charge through aluminum, which is cool and I hope that's true. But based on the leaks, I don't see that happening. And it looks like Pixel is gonna say, wireless charging, yeah, we'll get them next time. But of course you won't see the Android fanboys complaining about that. No, it's only on the Apple guys who haven't had it, but now have it. But first of all, it seems like Pixel is actually listening to some of us because based on the leaks of at least the Pixel XL, it seems like they're going back to stereo speakers. Yes, I said back because the Nexus 6P had stereo speakers, front-facing stereo speakers, mind you, for the longest time. I don't even think they make the 6P anymore, but my point is they used to do that. For some reason, they stopped and decided having this giant ugly chin on last year's Google Pixel was completely justifiable. And this year, they're like, oh, wait, we should put the speakers on the 
front. That makes more sense. No duh, so thank you. At least on the Pixel 2, let's hope they actually make some good use of that front facing stuff and don't have a giant chin on there and it looks like they don't. And this might just be me by Apple Sheep Mind ranting here, but when I see that image, that leaked image of the Pixel 2 that has that taller display, I can't help but notice that, you know, there's a lot of phones that have tried to eliminate bezels this year and I can tell that this phone is removing a lot of the bezels, but for some reason the Pixel 2 seems to have still a larger chin in forehead than most phones. I feel like if we compared this leaked image of the Pixel 2 to the LG G6 or to the Galaxy S8 or the Note 8 or the iPhone edition, I feel like the Pixel has the most bezel still on the chin and forehead. They still seem a little bit thicker to me. So it's like, of course, Pixel, you're the last phone to come out of the year. You've had the most time to prepare, the most time to design new hardware and software, and you're still belly flopping on the start line. God, it kills me so much. And there's already some leaks about the pricing. So first of all, there are two models coming out, just like last year, the Pixel 2 XL and just the regular Pixel 2. And that one is the ugly one with the giant chin and forehead. We have really low quality leaks of it, but it looks like a very budget phone. I hope there's nothing fancy about it because it looks terrible. And I hope that no company would willingly sell an Android product at that high a price. See, sometimes people get after me because they say the iPhone 8 has large bezels too. And those are still flagship phones. And it's like, but guys, there's two ways to compare the Pixel here, okay? You can compare Android to iPhone, but the iPhone users are aren't really debating between Pixel and iPhone. They're part of their ecosystem, they're comfortable there. I'm comparing the Pixel just to other Android options. And there are so many better budget-friendly Android phones out there than the Pixel, even though it's coming straight from Google, which drives me mad. So we don't have a leak yet on the price point of this smaller, crappier looking one, but I hope it's like $500. But with the Pixel 2 XL, it's rumored that the 64 gigabyte configuration has $850 price point, and the 128 gigabyte option is $950 for this very premium device, right? So 950, this Pixel 2 XL costs more than the Note 8 and is approaching on the price point of the iPhone 10. That's how on par it is because it has a six inch display, right? So that makes it worth it. Oh God, okay, you know, I make fun of the Pixel a lot. I've gained a lot of hate and a lot of fans back when I did that Pixel rant video, but pushing all of my bias to the side and pushing all of my love of team hating a product, the leaks haven't confirmed a couple things yet. And I hope just for the sake of Android fans out there that Pixel has taken into consideration at least waterproofing the product because it's rumored that they have removed the headphone jack, which is, in my opinion, a step in the right direction, but very hypocritical to the fan base they established. And two, headphones can at least be included with the device. All Samsung flagships come with wired headphones. You know, they kept the headphone jack. I don't agree with that, but they're willing to back it up and ship it with headphones. And all iPhones come with lightning headphones as well. I feel like that should be a standard thing when you buy a smartphone and they didn't do that with the Pixel, which drove me mad. Especially when you're charging such top dollar. And if we're just talking about the Android community again, I just wanna see Google justify why users should be okay with paying more for the Pixel 2 XL when you're getting a single camera, maybe not even waterproofing and not even wireless charging options, right up against the more affordable Note 8, which again has expandable storage if you want it. Last year, the Pixel didn't have that. So I kind of have my doubts that they would add it into this year. So overall, whenever people make fun of iPhones, I like to address the fact that these flagship Android smartphone that comes directly from Google is lacking a lot of the major features that iPhone users have now. And I find it extremely hypocritical of people to complain about Apple when Google, the team that designs Android, they themselves are kind of behind the times by a couple of years. So I hope they surprise us. I hope they shock us with some new features so that Android fans can actually have something to be excited for. But based on these leaks and based on these color options, it doesn't look that interesting to me. They kind of had weird coloring choices. You know, last year they had that very, very blue Google Pixel which I thought looked a little weird. Not because I hate the color blue, I'm just saying aluminum and glass at the same time is an interesting combination. But it's like, if you're gonna have glass on the back of the phone, let it have a point, like wireless charging. They didn't do that. They just put glass on the back because it looks unique. And last year, Pixel made fun of the iPhone for removing the headphone jack. When you make that accusation, which I think is going to outdate yourself in the long run, you still need to back it up. You need to admit, yeah, the headphone jack is worth it, so let's include headphones and let's keep it running. Let's keep the headphone jack alive. If that's your point of view, enforce it. Otherwise you look like a complete hypocrite if it's true that this year you are ditching the headphone jack, which I agree that removing the headphone jack is the right move, but your fan base does not. And are probably gonna be kind of upset with you when they find that out. Apple removed the headphone jack, but they stuck with that. They admitted why they did it and said they're going to continue to do it. I just wish they would do it on the iPads and MacBooks. So what do you think of the Google Pixel 2? Do you think it'll surprise us or do you think it's going to be a pretty big letdown? Of course, let me know in your comments below. This is your Apple Sheep here.
here and I will see you in the next one.